After 1945, across a continent ravaged by war and famine, Europe's people looked for a way to rebuild for the future. Displaced persons returned home or made new homes, as Europeans have for many centuries. A handful of European leaders decided that the best way to prevent war was to share the things which nations had been fighting for, and to build closer bonds of friendship and trust. The first step was the European coal and steel community. A few years later, the signature of the Treaty of Rome led to the creation of the European Economic Community and laid the foundations for today's European Union. The Treaty of Rome paved the way for a number of common policies. A common market was created with the removal of borders and barriers for goods, people, capital and services. This allowed cross-border trade to flourish, making war between neighbours simply unthinkable and generating prosperity and opportunities for millions of European citizens which they had not known before. Putting in place these four fundamental freedoms helped Europe's economies develop and led to the creation of the world's biggest trading bloc. The common agricultural policy was also launched with the Rome Treaty, at a time when Europeans knew what being rationed and hungry meant. They knew how much food makes a difference between life and death, between good and poor health. Over the last 60 years, ensuring that Europe is self-sufficient and that we can secure our food and be sure of what we eat has been a core priority of the European Union. After the Second World War, Europeans wanted a strong social policy aimed at sheltering the weakest, and so the Rome Treaty established the European Social Fund. Today, over one-third of the EU budget is spent on economic and social cohesion. The European Union was founded on coal and steel. Today, the European Energy Union will ensure that Europe has secure, affordable and climate-friendly energy. Wiser use of our resources and greater energy efficiency are key to fighting climate change and also to generating new jobs, growth and investment in Europe. Over time, new challenges emerged in Europe, with technological progress, globalisation and several enlargements of the EU. This called for an extension of the fundamental freedoms into new domains. In May 2015, the Commission launched a strategy for creating a digital single market, providing people and companies with better personal protections online and creating the right conditions to maximise the potential of the digital economy. In 2016, the President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, called for a European pillar of social rights in the Euro area to address crucial social challenges, including poverty and income inequality. The Commission also created a European Solidarity Corps in 2016 to provide new opportunities for young people in Europe. Over its 60 years of existence, the Treaty of Rome has evolved with the European Union and new treaties have been needed to keep pace with its growth and development. The history of the Union that has been formed under the guidance of this treaty is of an unprecedented nature in Europe. We are looking back on over 70 years of peace, which our continent has never known before. The journey has not always been smooth. It is a story of individuals and their lives. It is a story of institutions and their leaders, of men and women working tirelessly to overcome differences. It is the story of common values, common goals, common standards and common policies developed together, leading to the emergence of a stronger union between Europeans. In a globalised world, today more than ever, united we can shape the world and secure our place in it.